So uh, a lot of people like to order the Magna Gila gauge with their roaster because it allows you to see the real, true, actual airflow that's going through the drum of the roaster at any given time. And there's a number of reasons why this is really beneficial. It gives you indications if you're having issues beyond the roaster, such as in your exhaust system where it begins to uh, change perhaps because something's preventing the air from freely flowing through or your positive pressure is being affected. So when you get this, it's going to basically be uh, three parts. Most of the time, it's going to be connected already to the bracket, and that bracket uh, goes right here in the back. There's, I'll show you in a minute. There's two uh, pre-drilled bolts, and then there's a silicone tube that attaches to the back of the uh, gauge, and then plugs into the neck of the roaster, which I'll show you in just a minute uh, where these parts are and how easy it is to hook up. Okay, you can see these two bolts right here, which you use uh, the uh, hex key, the metric hex key to loosen those. And then the, this just goes right over back in there with the bolts put back in. And then I'll show you in the front, basically this tube is just ran alongside the roaster. And it, it's silicone, so it's not going to melt. And then it'll, it'll plug into the neck of the roaster, which I'll show you where that connection is. Since I had limited space on the other roaster, I'm going to show you on this roaster. So once that uh, Magna Helix gauge is installed, you'll see there's a, a cap here that you use a uh, wrench to remove and then you put this new uh, little connection in and when you do that it only needs to screw in a couple of turns it doesn't need to go in all the way, in fact it won't go in all the way so just turn it a couple turns because all you're really trying to do is get it to uh, be airtight in the neck of the uh, roaster and then you connect that uh, silicone tube back up. So I'm going to show you in a minute after it's been completed on the roaster we're going to do a roast in today. So after you loosen that uh, plug with a crescent wrench or what have you then you can remove it and then you can put in the other connector. So you can pretty much put that in by hand and then just give it a couple turns. You don't want to try to over tighten this. Just a couple of turns so that it's nice and secure in there. And then run this along the back and it will attach to the Magnahela gauge. So using a uh, metric hex key on the uh, BC2, it, probably on the BC1 too, also, it uh, uses a 2.5 millimeter hex key. Remove those two little bolts. And I'm not good at doing this left handed, so bear with me. And then uh, just install the uh, bracket with your magnahelic gauge pointing to in the direction of the control panel so you can be viewing it while you are uh, roasting coffee. So once you get that gauge nice and secure on there just push the uh, silicone tube in there and now you're ready to go.